My name is Ed Sebus. I'm a pathologist at the Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston. I've been there for about 25 years, um, and my specialty is cytopathology. The specialty that I practice in is called cytopathology, and it's really defined as that aspect of anatomic pathology which deals with tissue samples that are obtained using minimally invasive methods. Anything which doesn't require that a surgeon cut something out with a scalpel. So we're talking about things that can be scraped, like a pap smear, brushed, washed, like the bronchial tree, or aspirated, like a body cavity fluid or a solid tumor by fine needle aspiration. Um, given the healthcare environment now, which has growing financial constraints, it's an important specialty um, to utilize because um, it is relatively inexpensive. The technology that we uh, use in cytology is, is not terribly expensive, it's fairly simple, um, and yet we, it's very powerful. There's a lot that we can accomplish uh, diagnostically using these minimally invasive methods. So that's one aspect. Um, um, the other is that we're living in the era of genomics now with enormous breakthroughs in understanding the causes of disease. Uh, and it's important for us now to leverage these cytologic specimens um, and apply the techniques that we've learned from genomics to develop better personalized medicine. So the title of the book is Cytology, Diagnostic Principles, and Clinical Correlates. Uh, it's now in its third edition. Uh, the first edition came out in the early 1990s. Um, it's a comprehensive book of cytology. It covers every aspect from exfoliative cytology to fine needle aspiration cytology. Um, the, the need that it fills um, well, there are a lot of cytology books out there. I think it's uh, somewhat unique um, for three reasons. One is that it is comprehensive. Uh, there are a lot of books on special aspects of cytology, but this book really covers essentially everything in cytology. The other thing that's relatively unique is it's, it's um, portable, it's concise. It's really only about 500 pages long. Um, the text is, um, is brief, um, a lot of the key points are um, summarized in bulleted capsule summaries which people find extremely useful as a kind of mnemonic aid. And the third thing which I think is unique about the book is that it really emphasizes clinical correlation to the diagnoses that we make. So not only is it a guide to how to make a diagnosis, but also places everything in a clinical context. So why do we screen for cervical cancer? Why do we do fine needle aspirations of the thyroid? And what are the clinical implications of the diagnoses that we make? I think if we understand better what the clinical implications are, we're better placed to make the diagnoses that we have to make. Oh, it's been great. I've, I've really enjoyed being an Elsevier author. Um, the, um, um, <laughs> where do I start? <laughs> um, uh, Bill, uh, Bill Schmidt has been really great. I've worked with him for so many years. Uh, he's approachable. He's, um, he's open to ideas. Uh, he's receptive. Um, uh, the editorial staff is fantastic. Um, I, you know, it's, it's been a real pleasure working with Elsevier.